Hello and good day. You are highly welcome for today's tutorial. Yes, I believe you have watched the previous video, the introductory video on the standard costing, where I defined the standard costing to us, and I also told us how to derive our formulas while solving for the material price variances or the material variances in general and the labor variances. So let's have a practical question to help you understand what I explained from the previous video. If you have not watched that video, please search for the video titled Standard Costing Introduction. Watch that video, then come back to watch this for a better understanding. So we have a question on the board. The question says, the standard direct material cost of producing one unit of product is, of one unit of product XYZ is five kilogram of material Z and at two naira per kilogram. Now, during February, 100 units of product XYZ we are produced using 520 kilograms of material Z purchased at a total cost of 1,144 naira. Required. Calculate material cost variance, material price variance, and material usage variance. So let's kick start. Let's solve this question. First of all, there's something I need to tell us about standard costing in general. In a question like this, you need to be able to identify the standard cost and the actual cost. Most questions might give them to you directly, whereby you just pick the values you need, the standard price, you pick the standard cost rate, and so on and so forth. But in a question like this, whereby everything is inclusive in the statement which we have here, you need to be able to know where or which values represent the standard price or the standard cost and the values that represent the actual cost. So let's proceed. Material cost variance. So, solution. Number one, that is A. We have what? Material cost variance. Material cost variance. So, MCV is equal to. I remember I gave us the formula. And what is the formula? The standard cost minus the actual cost. So here we need to verify from this question we have here what our standard cost is, okay? So the standard direct material cost of producing one unit of product XYZ is 5 kg of material at this. So which means we are going to multiply our 5 kg of material with the price per kg, okay? So to answer this, we'll now say 5 kg times 2 naira per kg, then times this particular unit. You say during February, 100 units of product XYZ were produced. So this was produced. So we're multiplying what? The kg, the, naira, the price of the material, the kilogram of the material, and the units. So we have times 100 units. Now everything we have here will now be subtracted by our actual cost. So what is the actual cost here? Let's continue reading. Coming down to the question, it now says, during February, 100 units of product XYZ were produced using 520 kilograms of material Z purchased at a total cost. Now, this is the actual cost. 1,144 is what we're going to pick from here. So we have 1,144. So we we'll multiply these three values. We're going to have 1,000. We have 1,000 minus this. So we have what? 1,144. Okay? So by the time we subtract these values, the final answer is going to be what? We have 144 adverse. 144 Naira adverse. So this is our answer. Now, why do we have adverse? If, for instance, we have 10 minus 5, we know it is equal to 5. Here we always say it is favorable. Now when we have 5 minus 10, 5, divide, 5 minus 10 is what? Minus 5. Now on the standard costing, we don't add this value, this sign, this minus signal. All we do, we just clean this off and we present it with A. Remember in the previous video, I told us that when it is favorable, we have F. When it is an adverse, we have A. So that is what we just did, and that is how we come about that value. So let's proceed. So for question number one, our answer is 144 adverse. 
So let's go to question number two. B. B says material price variance. So we're not solving for material price variance. Now, let's continue. First of all, what is the formula for our material price variance? The formula is what? Our actual quantity, then the standard price minus the actual price. So what is the actual quantity in this question? So let's go back to the question again. What is the actual quantity? Now, reading at everything, remember, this is more like the section where we now have the actual transactions that went around. So we have 520 of material Z purchased. This was what was finally produced, okay? So 520 kilograms here represents the quantity that was produced. So we are going to have 520, then the standard price. What is the standard price now? When we take a look at the question, our standard price is what? It says the standard direct material cost of producing one unit of product XYZ is 5 kg of material Z at this. So this value we have here now represents what? The standard price. So we're going to have what? 2 Naira. Then minus actual price. What is the actual price? Now to get our actual price, you know we have this. And this is the total. This is the total cost. So we need to know what the price of 1 is. And for us to get this value, it means we are going to have 1,144. will be divided by 520. That will now tell us the actual price. So coming to this place, we have 1,144 divided by 520. Divided by 520. Okay? So we have what? 520 in brackets. We have what? 2 Naira here. Subtract by 1144 divided by this, it gives us what 2.20. Okay, so we also have uh, 520, then 2 naira minus 2 naira. This cobo gives us minus 0 0.2. The fact that we are saying this sign now, minus 0 0.2, simply means we're going to have an adverse as a final answer. So, what do we do? 520 times because we need to open this bracket and to open the bracket you need to multiply so 520 multiplied by minus 0 0.2 it now gives us what 104 adverse is a negative sign so instead of putting a negative sign we represent it with adverse so this is our final answer for question number two which is the material price variance so let's come over to the third one, C. And question number C says material usage variance. So we identify material usage variance. Material usage variance. Now, what is the formula for the material usage variance? We have a standard price minus the standard quantity minus the actual quantity this is the formula so what is our standard price remember we'll come back to this place again we'll come back so what is our standard price our standard price here is what this represents our standard price isn't it so we have two naira then we have in brackets a standard quantity what is the standard quantity again now to get our standard quantity remember we're told that five kg of material z at two naira then during February, 100 units of product XYZ were produced. So to get a standard quantity, we will now multiply the 5 kg times the 100 units. So we say 5 kg times 100 units. 5 kg times 100 units minus the actual quantity. What is the actual quantity? Now this is our actual quantity here, 520. We have 500 and 20 kilogram. So over here we have what? We have our 2 naira. We have 5 kg times 1000. It gives us what? 500 minus 520. Okay? So we we'll take it step by step. We have 2 naira here. Then 500 minus 520. 
it simply gives us what? Minus 20. So we have minus 20 here. Then, to open these brackets, we need to multiply 2 naira times minus 20. So by the time we do the calculations there, we will now have what? 40 adverse. Remember, it is minus 40. Okay? But I've told us that in standard costing, once it is a minus sign before the value, we represent it with adverse. So we have this. Now, let me bring something to our notice. Let me give us this scenario. Let's take, for instance, um, you want to get something. You've planned to buy this marker for the cost of 100 naira. Now, the cost of 100 naira you've budgeted of, you've made your plan to buy this marker. Now, represent that your standard cost. At the end of the day, you finally bought this marker, 120 naira. Okay. Now, 120, which you finally bought this marker, it's now your actual cost. Now, use this scenario to always remember that the standard cost has to do with that particular, um, that predetermined calculations on that specific thing which you want to get. Then the price that you actually spent or the price you actually spent in purchasing that marker represents the actual cost, more like the, 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 the future cost of it, what you finally use or the final cost of that particular product or material which you want to acquire, okay? So try as much as you can to watch this video regularly, okay? Subscribe to this channel is very, very important because we'll have a lot of videos for you. In the next video, we're going to solve a question under the labor variance and I want you to be there, I want you to watch these videos and I want you to practice it. If you have questions or you need clarifications, you send us a mail, helpingstudent70 at gmail.com. We are there to give you the best and we wish you the best in all you do. So have a wonderful day. Goodbye.